Hey, this is Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we're gonna go over the Pocket Drone E50 from Heesheen. This is actually really fun. Let's see if I can attack him. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> So what we got here, we got a pocket drone. Selfie. It's a selfie drone. It's a drone, selfie yes. drone. All right, because it's got a little camera right up here. And um, it fits in your pocket. Now it's actually, how big is your phone? It's smaller than my my Samsung right here. Obviously it's a little thicker. Same size as an iPhone 6, if you guys can see it. Yeah. It's Mine's better. Mine works, usually. <laughs> yeah. Siri? Except, that video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about Siri like that, okay? Siri, convert 2200 milliamps to amps. 2,200 amperes converts to 2,200 amperes. That didn't tell me anything. Go, it's supposed to go in your pocket. I, I think it would crack if it goes in I your pocket. I would sit on it if it was yes. in my pocket. If you want to try a multi-rotor for the sake of having some kind of quad, drone, whatever you want to call it, um, but you, you're not ready for anything crazy like FPV stuff, this is actually a lot of fun to get you going. I let a lot of my family members, my brothers and my nephews and all that fly it. They had a blast with it. So yep. and Now we're going to open the box real quick and see what you get in the box and do a little test flight. It's different and I think that's what makes it fun. Yes. All right, so here we go. We got the E50 right there, and... Oh, all right, so this is what you get. Sorry, let me put this back. All right, so you got the box here. First off, it's a lot like an iPhone box, which is kind of interesting. So you got the selfie quad right here, the little e E50, and under that is battery, which is actually inside the quad. Somebody already played with this one. Yeah. The battery will be in it, but not plugged in. So that's gonna be your battery. It's a 500 milliamp 20C, a little different than normal Eachine ones. It's long and skinny versus a, a wider one. And real quick, we'll have extra batteries available on our site. The link is in the description below. All right, moving on. We have a set of props. Uh, looks like spare gears, which is pretty neat because that's one of the things you'll break on a, on a brush motor is usually a gear or you'll strip it or lose it. Um, but you get extra gear set as well as the props there, two front, two back, and then a little felt that's bag. really cool right there. Yeah, so it's a nice little carry bag for the stuff. And you get the more importantly oh, manual. Yeah. And All right, so, so the arms just fold out. Fold out. That, that's, that is amazing to me. After all that arms we break on the crazy <laughs> Yeah, when you hit them, they actually they fold up pretty good too. So, I mean, I've hit quite a few things already and I haven't broken them properly. So, yet, all so. our flying in our video, what you're about to see, we I probably crashed this thing a dozen times. And let's check out the props here. There is not one stretch on these props. Yeah, my Dude, that is the battery going. The battery. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over. Get it this way. Now this is the back of the quad here. This little pop it back and then lift it up. There it is. And then the battery is gonna plug in. I don't know if you can yep, I got it all. All right, so the battery plugs in there and it's keyed, so you can't plug it in backwards. Okay. How do you charge? Charging it comes with a little USB charger. Get that out. So you just plug that into your USB port if you got a uh, cell phone charger or anything like that, little blocks. Gotcha. And then the, approximately how long will it take to charge? Um, I think this is like a 20, 30 minute charge time roughly. Okay. That looks like about 55, almost no, 60? 50, 58. 58. Roughly 12, 15? 16. 16? Eight is, I can't tell from here. No, it looks That's like about six, six or, or seven. seven, yeah. It's extremely light, I will say that. Um, the battery itself, Weighs about seven, 16 grams, so it's about the same as the 500s for the QX90s. The quad itself, without the battery, 61.4. So this has bigger props than the QX90s, QX95, and all that. Uh, 
Which are the racing drones. Yeah, which are the yeah, racing drones. So yeah, so the flying weight of this thing, 77.6 grams flying weight with bigger props. What's that mean? What do you, I mean, what does that uh, mean I mean, change the flight controller, have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first off, you need to download the app called Wi-Fi UFO. All the directions are in the manual, but that's what you need to do. So once you open it up, so that's, that's the home screen. Then you hit the play button, and there is your screen. Now, in order to hook it up to your drone, first you have you got to plug the drone in right there. So yeah. Will's gonna do that. All right, so you plug the multi rotor in. And I, so you turn on the quad by pushing the button there. And it'll start flashing, and then it goes into a slow blink, which should activate the Wi-Fi. So you should be able to find it. And we'll see here. Hold on. There it is. Oh. Eshin. There we go. Boom. Click that button right there. We'll click connect. And then once it's connected, we are. Now you go back to the app. Eyes. <laughs> you can barely see my eyes. <laughs> I don't know why that's that funny. <laughs> All right, so um, first things first. So here's the app. We're gonna turn on the controls. I don't know why you would want to turn them off. And then, so basically you can fly this in two different modes. Tell us the modes, Will. One, you can use this as a, what do they call that? Uh, it's the gyroscope mode or something yeah. like that. It's The only drawback is you can't use the rudder. So you have to use the thumb for your rudder. Your left hand will be your yaw control and your altitude. The uh, the right if you're in the gyro mode you you tilt push uh, tilt forward or tilt back and then left or right um, for the roll and pitch, but I don't fly that mode. I I'm old school. I, I like to try no. to find. Yeah, I like that. I like the app mode. For those of you guys using Apple, again same, similar process. So you're gonna turn on turn on. You got your flashing light. Go to your Wi-Fi. Uh, take a minute now. No. So notice we have two different two different uh, E50s. Well, his is hooked up to that phone. Yes, and it also, one thing to note, that is an adjustable camera tilt. Oh, that is so awesome, look so at that. So if you're gonna be hauling butt, you look it up. If you're looking, you know, if you're going up above you for selfies or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I wonder how that worked. I didn't even know, that's not in directions, that's why. It might be. It's not. Things you wanna do when you get it, you gotta press the button to turn on the controls. And then there's a button right here to calibrate the gyros. When you press that button, the quad will be flashing really fast. It's kind of hard to see, but it'll flicker really, really fast and then it'll stop. That calibrates the gyros, so it, it levels it out for you. Um, so from there, then it's ready to go. If you want an altitude hold, you push a little hourglass right there and that um, that's where the altitude will hold like a barometer. Um, so now we're gonna start playing with them. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Now notice my hands are moving between the yeah. Try to take pictures. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> He's trying to, um, yeah. If you fly too, make sure you have your eyes on yours, not your partner. They're pretty durable, though. <laughs> we stress that for a lot. We got to go. Sometimes I forget which way is which. Oh, here's a cool feature. Watch yeah, this. Yeah. Feature right here. So that's what the altitude holds. His, his hands yeah, are off the I'm control. Not watch, watch his hands. See his hands? So it doesn't know direction, but it knows altitude. It hold, it's holding the altitude. And that's if it's turned on. If you don't turn it on, it won't work. Now it's going right back up where it came from. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, it's is, it, is it recording? Yep, yep. it's definitely recording. It's a 10, 10, it's 10 the camera is a 1080p camera. Very good in low light. The features here. So here we go. Don't let him touch your stuff. If you can see right here, there's a setting on there, 30, 60, and 100%. How do you fly yours? What, what percentage do you fly yours on? I'm flying mine at 60 um, because I'm not using the gyroscope. I'm, not I'm flying mine on 30 and I am using the little gyroscope thing. It gets kind of confusing because you have one thumb on it and one, and then for your yaw and your altitude. I wish, but how would you do that? Though? Anyone knows anything about uh, these selfie drones? There's one called Dobby, I think it's called. $400 drone? I think it's $400. $400? Yeah. These are not gonna be anywhere close to that style. It doesn't have any GPS on it. They're entry level. There's something to mess around with without yeah, breaking They the are a lot of fun. They have a cool features. You don't need anything else. Now they're Wi-Fi. What that means, the video signal, if you can see here, the video signal is through a Wi-Fi connection. You can't use any kind of head FPV gear. No. No, no FPV gear on that. And the Wi-Fi is great for a short, you know, for indoors or, or selfies for this thing. It has a lot more latency with Wi-Fi than you would with analog, right. but your video quality is higher. That's right. What but uh, again, this is not supposed to be an FPV racer. This is just a fun little selfie drone that um, 
you can crash into everybody and now one thing because these are stable um it does actually have a quote unquote goggle mode if you have any of those vr goggles for like samsung or anything for the you put your phone in um there's a mode right here i don't know if you can see the thing wrong way oh sorry okay wrong way <laughs> uh there's a mode right here it's split screen so if you put that in a in a camera phone you do have a 3d um fpv mode or whatever can you see it yeah so i'm gonna hit the takeoff button or the start button okay take it off with the throttle right here all right. Put it back over there. It does have trim tabs, too. All right, so now I'm gonna land it right here. Where's it going? All right, get back here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> These are a lot of fun. Honestly, that's why we both have one out this video. All right, so now. All right, so. Hands, hands off, hands, hands off. Put, put, let me see your fingers. What do you mean, see my fingers? I wanna see your hands and hit the. Hit the... I wanna right, so... be able to see your thumb through the landing mode. Here we go. Um, push the button. You see it's slow flashing. There we go. So off. that was auto land. So if you get kind of stuck somewhere and you yeah. auto land, it will. And it off. also has an emergency mode. So we're going to sacrifice this. Okay, motors are running. But say you're flying or anything like that, if you hit the stop button, it cuts off the motor. So if you're about to crash, cut the motor. Or you, or you have crashed. Or you have crashed. A thing called headless mode. And how you get to that. Now, what is, explain what headless mode does real quick. Headless mode is no matter what direction you're in, right is always right, left is always left, forward is always forward. So the quad could technically be rotating in 360s while you're going the right direction. So what that's for, if you're recording yourself, if without the headless mode, left is right, right is left. Yeah, you tell it from your point of view, not from the actual quad's so point of view. with the mode on or off is left, then it, then you can go right, it's gonna go right, even though it's facing you. Yeah. Right. Which is normally opposite, yeah. Yes, that's why I said You're going left. your right, that's, not that's its what, right. That's what left is left. Right? right for. Correct, right? See? Um, maybe. Battery life, we've been flying this thing about 10, 30, 15 minutes. Video. Yeah, I, I got a six minute recording, and so I know that. I'm still strong, so we don't really know how long a battery lasts. We'll have to put that in the comments section. I gotta say, all in all though, realistically, this thing is a lot of fun. Yep. Um, <laughs> These are a blast to fly, um, especially when it's raining and it's cold and it's the winter time, or you wanna just bother your family members. And here is the box, and this is the Eashin 50 Pocket Drone. So this is one that we couldn't decide who got to take it home and test it, so we both took one yeah. home and tested. 